Britain is starved of nature, especially when considering what it used to look like. Important wildlife has plummeted over the years, causing barren lands, diminished biodiversity, and from a human perspective, it's normalized a disconnection with nature. But there is a solution. Rewilding has been a hot topic for years, raising hopes and tempers across the country. It means to restore an area of land to its natural uncultivated state. Every species plays a role in nature, but some species play more important roles when it comes to natural functions. When populations of these species decline or disappear, there are very few or no other species that can fulfill their role. Ecosystems then degrade or even completely collapse. The Wilder Bleen project was launched by two British conservation charities and funded by the People's Postcode Lottery Dream Fund. It plans to release a small herd of the European bison in Kent by spring 2022. England hasn't seen the bison in 6,000 years. It was once said to roam the UK until hunting and habitat change led to its extinction. The project will help secure the future of this endangered species, but it will also help to restore the ecosystem of the ancient British woodlands. They will naturally regenerate a former pine wood plantation by killing off trees. This creates a healthy mix of woodland, scrub and glades, boosting insect, bird and plant life. Using missing keystone species like bison to restore natural processes to habitats is the key to creating bioabundance. A bison is known as an ecosystem engineer because of its ability to create and improve habitats for other species. Bison can manage the environment by eating bark from selected trees and also rubbing against them, which creates dead wood for insects. This in turn provides food for birds. Tree felling also creates sunny clearings where native plants can thrive. Nightingales and turtle doves are also expected to return. One male and three females will be released with the hope that natural breeding will increase the size of the herd. Each female will birth one calf a year. The intention is to move them to other sites in the UK once the population grows to avoid culling. The animals will be wild with very little interference other than to monitor their health. This is an amazing step towards restoring Britain's woodlands. It's about time we let nature take care of itself and let the natural processes shape the environment and the habitats within it.